Hi Pisces, how have you been? On Monday, the sun squares off with Saturn making everyone more aware of limitations and responsibilities rather than matters of pleasure. When it comes to romance, there might be a stiff upper lip approach and it might be all too easy to deny yourself what you want since you will be more focused on duties and obligations. Some sensitivity regarding the left side of the body can come up. Your upper abdomen is very sensitive and you should avoid intoxicants. During this week you will have more concern regarding your abdominal area. By Tuesday a new moon will give everyone permission to indulge in sensual delights. Your needs are real and must be met. Make no apologies about this reality. Intense thoughts about love might start to cause you more harm than good. thanks to pluto turning retrograde on the same day that mercury squares it the desire to have things your way in love might lead you to mentally manipulative tactics that you won't exactly be proud of to resist on wednesday the new moon landing in your partnership sector is always an indicator of changes in relationship matters This week those changes might feel more like earthquakes thanks to the influence of Uranus being connected. It looks like there is a radical and very unexpected new beginning for you and your partner. The two of you are going off in a new and completely unanticipated direction, but it seems to be one of your own design, so enjoy the ride. If you're single, it's possible that you will unexpectedly meet someone who you'll see as a genuine relationship material. Anything is possible with this new moon. On Thursday, the alignment at play today gives you the incentive to mix and mingle with others. Even more so if you are looking for someone special to share your life with. You will find that the people you meet today are different in some way and may provide you with inspiration and much food for thought. One person is likely to make you think very deeply especially about seeing them again. On Friday a bit of spark a touch of ingenuity and maybe a smidgen of innovation could transform an aspect of your emotional world. There is no need to go over the top or be dramatic as far as introducing any change is concerned within a love relationship or budding connection. But being more creative, experimental and spontaneous could bring a result that will make you smile and maybe more. You should control the intake of milk and milk products otherwise you may get acidity related issues. You may go for a blood sugar test as well. Minor workouts also will help you to be happy and healthy. On Saturday, taking stock of your emotional world generally or a close connection might need you to create some distance briefly. But it's important not to believe that the effort you've been invested in making romantic or relationship progress has been in vain. If you convince yourself that you're not loved or appreciated then a new level of resentment could kick in but a brief bit of distance could help you to reemerge with your mojo rejuvenated On Sunday the moon is in Taurus and in your 7th house of partnership however it is also trining Jupiter in your 3rd house of communication This is emphasizing the necessity of having honest, open and clear lines of communication with your partner in order to experience closeness and establish a strong and lasting connection. Work on practicing more transparency and clarity in the way you communicate with your partner as that can be the determining factor of whether a relationship succeeds or not. You should stay away from all the arguments this week. Watch more movies, keep yourself entertained and have a good time. Hi Pisces, how have you been? 
All right, let's begin. On Monday, you have a supportive universe now, indicating a time of renewed attention to romance, children and family. If you work in one of these areas, money comes almost effortlessly. If you have an idea for a product or service to reach these demographics, it's a great time to launch that into the world. Sometimes written or spoken may do the trick. Put it in black and white or broadcast it through the social media. On Tuesday, your mood swings may perplex you and even hurt you. So try to see things from the perspective of the other side to know the reason. Health issues may trouble you and it's most likely to be addressed successfully fortunately. Taking the approval of higher ups before going ahead with your plan on the professional front will be a good idea. Stiff competition is envisaged on the academic front, but your position remains strong. Don't be hasty in a property deal, that is if you're planning to buy one. Okay, now on Wednesday, Wednesday may appear to be very comfortable on the financial front. Mm -hmm. However, beware as your confidence may turn into overconfidence. Be careful of adopting shortcuts and unethical practices of making a quick buck, which may land you in trouble. Such opportunities may look lucrative initially, but they eventually aren't. Put in hard work sincerely and results may solve themselves in the long run. During this period, the Sun and Mercury seems to be moving through the 11th house. While this may ensure a sturdy inflow of money along with monetary gains, you might be careful of unnecessary expenses during this time. Try to start saving for a brighter future. Alright, and now moving on to the mid of the week, Thursday chances of making monetary gains will be less. You may be forced to incur more expenses, so any major financial planning decisions are to be avoided. Chances of making monetary gains will be less. You may be forced to incur more expenses, so any major financial planning decisions are to be avoided at all costs. You will be comfortable with the money available in hand. That's a good. That's a good thing, right? There will also be plenty of scope to increase your savings. And what I see on Friday, money will be good. This will probably enhance the potential to save more. Use the opportunity to secure your future. Progress in money matters will be smooth. You will be able to handle your money more intelligently. Money inflow will be very encouraging. Surplus amounts at hand will encourage you to increase your savings. Your monetary conditions will be stable and secure. You will be able to earn good amounts of money and that will yield satisfaction in you. All right, now on the weekend, on Saturday, the planets are giving you the day off. So even if you have work to do, you got cosmic clearance to let your mind wander because your mind is going to be going just about each and every direction you let it to be. You might have to harness it, but you will eventually fail, but in a good way. All right, and now on finally the Sunday, uh, the energetic Mars, okay, is bounding his way through innovative Pluto and your adventurous ninth house of foreign cultures and travel. And you're going to be thinking about far off journeys rather than the money in your bank account. 
You could use this transit to try and dream up some new ways to earn money. But chances are, you're not going to really fill up the task as Mars forms a tense square to the money in your sleepy 12th house of subconscious. <laughs> Alright, have a great week ahead. To get your daily prediction updates from our team of psychics, subscribe to Highest Good and click on the bell notification and never miss a prediction.